Oh, it's been great. I, I think the addition, um, talked a little bit more about Eric before. It's been great having Eric in the room. Um, it's great having Demo back, him working out, and then with, with all the new guys coming in there, Marist, of course, and then I, I really like the young guys that have come into the undrafted, the way they're working and going. So um, it, it's exciting, exciting having numbers in the room, having competition, and, and it's going to be a great summer. What stands out to you about Marist? You know what? Uh, right now, very exceptional uh, um, football IQ. Really smart guy. I mean, for as little as we've been able to do on the field right now, um, he's really excelled. All right, at picking it up in the meeting room on the walkthroughs. All right, and then the little little amount we've been able to get to out there. So, um, really excited about his summer and w what he can get to. But um, he's off to a good start. Can you tell us a little bit about? Um having Demo back and then some of your plans maybe to get him not only through the offseason but into the season and expectations there? Yeah, you know what? We're, we'll take our time with him. I'm, I mean, first and foremost, we want him to be healthy and ready to go at the, at the end of next year, all right, whenever that comes and progress him through. But we're hoping by training camp we can work him in and get him going. He looks great right now. Uh, everything he's doing, running around, I know he's itching to get back out there and really excited about getting, getting started on the field. But... Um, we'll, we'll trust the progression of everything and, and take it through, and, and he's going to be ready to go for us next year in our okay. rotation. And then if you could tell us a little bit about, we kind of got an idea about the player Kendrick said, but have you seen his leadership, maybe how he's maybe taking some of the young guys in, anybody you've seen with the rookies? No question. I, I think overall, even for the younger guys in our room, like Damone, um, like uh, Demo, uh, Buddy and those guys, I mean, just his influence on him, it, his, his calmness, his poise, he's been in this scheme before, all right? He's, he's another voice as a coach within the room to the nuance of the position, the little things um, that sometimes you can't get from a quick 30-minute meeting. He can talk to him about that outside of the room, on the field. Um, so his presence has been great. And, and getting to know the, the young guys and bringing him along, um, it, it, he's just a great piece to have in the room. I mean, he's a He's a great guy, great football player, and, and excited to have him a part of what we're doing. Awesome. And I'll ask you about one more. If you could talk a little bit about Damone Clark. Started taking a jump last year. Yep. Prime for a year three jump. What do you think about this? No question. I, I think the more football that, that Damone plays, the, the, the better he's going to be. And it was a lot of football we were able to get him into. He took on a lot of roles last year, too. I mean, uh, it, when, when you look at where he started out, is Will Dime, and then Leighton goes down. We slide him over to Mike. He was able to play on the line of scrimmage and do a lot of different things as a young player. I mean, so he's gotten experience all over the field. So his confidence right now is up, and, and he's going to be playing fast, and, and we're excited for him here in year three. I agree there. His confidence is really high. And then do you think, like, do you have a particular position you want him? Do you want to keep him, like, versatile, moving around, or do you, like, like him like at a Sam or a Will? Right now, all right, once, once the competition settles down, we'll, we'll see okay. how it goes. The one thing I feel really good about Damone is his versatility. Yeah. All right, and, and he can play anywhere. He knows it and he understands it. What's best for him, all right, time will tell how, how we fit into this thing and where we go with it. Um, but he, he's, he's, he's got a lot of upside to him yet, and he's off to a good spring, too. I agree. Uh, yep. I was just going to ask you, Coach, um, the linebacker group as a whole, what are you looking for them this year? What, like, what can fans expect to see from your linebacker? You know what? It's same thing. We go into every year. We, we want to play smart, fast, and aggressive at the end of the day. I, I mean, we, we want to play with our, spot, our, our play style first and foremost. So when you turn on the tape, you see them running and hitting and finishing on the ball, and then plays come from that. All right, our, our urgency, our play style, and how we run, and then, and then we show up on tape and, and make plays. But uh, we we've got a diverse group. We've got a lot of different guys. We should have a lot of competition. All right, so that should help breed that play style and, and playing fast and aggressive. And I'll actually jump back in on one more question. Um, have bringing back. Um, Damian Wilson. Yeah. Can you just talk about what that does for your not only special teams, but like a leadership role? No question. Young he's another great voice to have in the room. I mean, he's been through it. He's been through it here before, you know. So just to have him in the room, he's a he's a smart football player too. He's been through a lot, so uh, we'll lean on him as well. All right, as being another voice. All right, being a, a veteran presence within our room.